spent the last five years on the iLive, which I loved. And uh, it's a, just a natural progression to move on to the next model, which has all the things that I really wanted on the iLive and now on the DLive, plus some extra things which are amazing. Looking around through the summer, everyone's carrying their own digital consoles and um, I would say 90% of them, they're carrying outboard and all, all kinds of other stuff with it. Um, I carry nothing. Today's the first time I've actually plugged something in, um, which is a rotosphere. But uh, normally I just turn up with a console, a set of headphones, and I'm away. And uh, for me, that's an advantage. No, I mean, it, it, it does, it, it works perfectly. It's very, very intuitive. It's very, very um, easy to understand, uh, which I need with this, this band, because there is so much going on. I can't get into pages. I just need to be able to mix and have it all right in front of me. Plus, I can see the screens, which helps a lot. Okay. Yeah, especially these festivals with the sun and everything. Um, you know, it, it, it's a tool. It's a perfect working tool. And uh, it's an artistic tool. The sound engine, it does exactly what you want it to do. Um, and, and sometimes more. When you start to really push the levels on it, it, it starts to really come alive. There, there's some interesting things I can't put my finger on, but it's a console for mixing. Um, it depends on your style. Some people just like to just pull up the faders and just sit there. This is, you know, it, it's a bit like a sort of Jackson Pollock. You can throw things around, you know, you can put little things here and there, and it's a beautiful thing, you know, it's a tool.